Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome back to Pure Farming 2018. We are going to try and finish this field here today. Now, uh, I don't actually remember if we've got hired help. I know that there is hired help on here. There's been an update to the game. I need to press F to work and then turn... Well, the, the harvesting mechanism is on. Stop working, pipe movement, detach, uh, move device down, X. Okay, nailed it. Right, now I need to go forward, which is... Hang on. Uh, I want... Oh, no. It's, it's definitely not that, so I, I need to turn the harvesting mechanism... I thought I already turned it on. Apparently I haven't. Um, so we go to there, and then I will turn the harvesting mechanism on. Ah, right. There we go. Now, which is the... Oh, I remember now. You've got to press shift as you go along. Like that, and then it will give you the, the auto drive. Um, so anyway, we're going to carry on today. We're going to try and finish our field that we were harvesting here yesterday. Uh, last week, I should say. Um, and we're also going to attempt to uh, sell some crops. That's one of the next things that we need to do is sell a few crops. And then once we've done that, uh, I'm not really sure... We've got 44% remaining on this field. There has been an update with the game. They've improved the quality of the uh, hired help. And they've done a few other bits and pieces as well. I think they improved the lighting ever so slightly. I'm not quite sure what they did to the lighting. And there was a, a, a quite a few other like little tweaks and stuff that they, um, they did with the update. Um... I'm not quite sure. I don't actually quite remember what they all were now. It's been several days since I actually looked at uh, what they were. It was it was last week that they did it. So, yeah, I did see the update and I did read through it, but uh, now I can't remember most of what they said. Um, I do know that the hired help was one of the things that they targeted with the update. And they, did, they stated quite clearly that they fully intend to do more work with the hired help and improve that one yet further. So... There should be some more improvements uh, over time. Oh, fuel consumption was another thing that they improved. And I think that lighting in general was something that they that either they've looked at or they're planning to look at soon. Um, to just, just generally sort of improve the, the feel of the lighting on the game. Because um, I'm not the only one that has noticed that the lighting doesn't seem to be all that great. Um, it, it seems like subdued sort of misty and it's slightly i don't, I don't know the, the lighting seems slightly off it's almost like we're at dusk at all times and it shouldn't quite be like that so they have done some work on that and there will be some more work on it as uh, to come i'm not quite sure when oh uh, time scale as well time scale was another one at the moment you can see now that um it's on time so if you look up in the top left hand corner you can see it's uh, times one, and they added in an option uh, that time scale times one is actually real life time. So uh, one minute in game is one minute in real life, and I don't. I mean, we we weren't running on that yesterday. That wasn't something that we were using, but it is something that they were planning to. It's something that they've added in. I'm not quite sure how you change the uh, time scale at the moment. And um, we've got mini map zoom. Uh, toggle controls, hide menu, turn lights on. I can hide the menu like that. So we can zoom in and out quite easily. Uh, I'll bring that one back. And then we've got cycle camera. So we've got different camera modes. Uh, we've got beacons. We've got windscreen wipers. We've got a radio station. I've actually dialed the music right down because it was quite loud and I didn't really think that we needed it. Um, I listened. I Game music is something that I generally love. If I'm playing a game on my own, and I'm not recording, I have the game music on. I love the game music. It's very rare that I will choose to listen to other music and not the game music. Um, so I, I generally will have whatever the game music is because it seems to fit. The soundtracks for gaming are designed to help you concentrate and create like a backdrop to whatever you're playing. And um, they're designed not to break your concentration. The game makers want you to be able to maintain your concentration while you're playing the game. And that is what game soundtracks are all about. Um, so a little tip for you. If you're studying, don't listen to normal albums. Don't listen to regular music. Listen to soundtracks that are designed for games, not films. 
Film soundtracks aren't necessarily designed to help you concentrate at all times. They can break your concentration. They, they, the dramatic rises and falls. Gaming soundtracks, however, they are specifically designed not to break your concentration. The people who make the games want you to keep playing the game. They don't want you to break your immer they don't want to break your immersion and cause you to think, oh, hang on a minute, no, I don't really want to play this for now. Uh, maybe I'll come back later. So th it is designed to do that. They, they've actually gone out of their way to make the soundtrack like that and so it's worth keeping in mind that if you're studying whatever you might be studying or if you you've brought some work home and you're trying to concentrate on it put on a soundtrack for a game there's a skyrim soundtrack fallout soundtracks um just any but i'm saying those because those are the ones that i quite like but um there are all kinds of soundtracks for different games you can try lots of them and they are actually pretty good uh, I need to turn the harvest mechanism off. I want to raise that device up. I want to uh, Z to move the pipe out. Oh, oh, there you got to press and hold Z, and then you got to move the the pipe. Remember now. Um, so it's definitely worth getting a the odd if you do need to like a, a bit of aid in trying to concentrate on different things. It is worth investing in a soundtrack for a game. Um, it will really help. It is proven to make a difference, and they they do specifically make them like that. That is that is one thing that they are good at. Um, so yes. However, when I'm recording, I generally turn the soundtrack off or I turn it way way down, just because it makes life a lot easier. I can uh, you can hear me, and we, we don't have uh, things being drowned out. Right, I'm gonna bring that back in there, and we'll stop, and then move device down like that and leave vehicle right we don't have an option to turn the vehicle off at the moment that's okay we can live with that so let's come over to this one and enter vehicle so we've got 6298 kilos i need to sell 6200 crops at the purchase center so we're doing just fine with that now where is the purchase center that is up the road over that way so now it's the um you can turn on cruise control with the left shift but what i'm not quite sure about is how to move the cruise control up and down how do i go faster on the cruise control it's the bit that i don't know because look i can if i start going faster now and then i turn on the cruise control and seem to be speeding up um you've got to keep switching the cruise control on and off i that's a little de i don't like that detail um they have changed the camera you can now zoom out a bit further they, they, they did add that in, that you can zoom out a little bit further, which I think is absolutely wonderful. Uh, it was one of my complaints that I had um, in last week's episode, was that you couldn't zoom out very far. Uh, so they have already addressed that bit, a, a little bit. The camera is still a bit twitchy, it's sticking in places, but generally it, it seems to be okay. Um, whether it's going to keep being okay, I'm not quite sure. Right, we're up to 27, 28, let me put the cruise control on again. Now let's drop back down to 22. I want to be able to adjust the cruise control. I want to be able to speed it up. And I want to be able to slow it down. If anybody knows how to alter the speed of the cruise control. Oh no, it's, it's 25. Is that how I had it? See, the farming simulator one, you can adjust the cruise control. The cruise control is very, very simple and easy and self-explanatory. I would like to see a cruise control that is that simple to use in this game. That That is something that I would like. It doesn't seem to be here at the moment. It is something that we do want to see added in. Um, we'll see later. Well, m the main concern I've got at the moment is... Well, I, I guess part of this is the uh, time of the day. So let's see if we have an option for the time scale. We want to go to here. And then we go to options, and we can look here. So we got mini map, we got accept, move right, yada 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 yada. Uh, we got controls, vehicle selection, accept, get in, out, work, attach. Uh, by tablet is V. Yeah, I remember that now. Camera zoom and camera move. Uh, it's not. It's none of those. Effects maybe. No, definitely not effects. Gameplay. It's got to be gameplay. All right. Disable tree collision. Turn off AI traffic, turn off AI pedestrians, unit, we've got metric, time display format, 24 hour, turn off UI, braking assistance. Uh, well, how do I, advanced? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I've got no idea. Um, 
That's the op that's the only options that we got. How do I increase the time scale? Maybe it's under V. There's got to be a way to increase our time scale. If we go to here, I've got that bit. I got emails there selling grain crops. Congratulations, you've just familiarized yourself with the full cycle of transporting, storing, and transferring your crops. Proceed to the next and final stage. That's right, selling your crops. After all, this is what it's all about. There's a purchase center nearby, one that currently has a particularly high demand for wheat. All it takes is to pull up to the offloading area and cash in your crops. We've got to get 6,200. If you decide to leave unmanaged wheat, it'll be gone after three days. Now, I was told in the comment section, unmanaged means in trailers, in the combine, or in a heap on the ground. Um, I'm not sure how you get it into a heap on the ground, but um, that's what they mean. Anyway, um, looking through, right, fields, greenhouses, orchards. There's got to be a way to alter the time scale. Recovering vehicles, player progress, player status, active tasks. Nope. I don't want... Uh, had, this This is a bit of an issue for me, is how do I change from the map? I want to go to that encyclopedia. Oh, time. Maybe I just need to... Day, temperature, XP, sapphires. That's kind of like the gold nuggets on um, FS17. Hmm. Apparently, we don't know how to do that. Right, so we're going to have to leave it on normal time scale at the moment. I'm getting a little bit laggy here in places, which seems a bit unusual. I wasn't getting laggy before. I'm still running at a, a, a cool 60 frames a second. That's, that's not changed. Uh, but I am getting a little bit of lag as we move into new areas. I'm wondering if that's just like the first time loading on the map. Um, I'm, I think we're in, where are we at the moment? We're, uh, no, we're in Montana, aren't we? So I want to be on this side. I'm still driving using the, uh, keyboard. I'm, it's keyboard and mouse today. I'm going to, I'm keeping on, I'm, I'm staying with that for the moment. Um, just because I know that so many of you only use keyboard and mouse. So I'm going to play exactly the same way that you guys are playing. Um, in order to try, you know, in order to sort of show that you know, everything can be done just with keyboard and mouse. And you don't need to spend a pile of money on a, um, well, I'm going to go forward a bit. You don't need to spend a pile of money on a steering wheel in order to be able to effectively play the game. Uh, right, let's press H for cell. Tips up. I do love the tipping animation on this one. The tipping animation is very, very good. Up it goes, and we've got all the grain tipping out as well, and it's it's the way, it's not quite flowing accurately out of the trailer, but it's pretty close. It is pretty close to realistic. Right, we've got 250 XP, resource sold wheat, gained 3,258, I think that says euros, but I'm pretty sure this is in America. Should be dollars. Uh, your crop was transferred. Right, drive, time to spend some money. Drive to the store. Buy the Sipma WA600 Delphin Tank Trailer Water and buy the sprayer as well. Um, does that mean that we now... Oh, I see. Right, we've got business application and we got stores. You've just turned a tidy profit from your cash crops. That's the gist of it. To generate income and expand your business is probably the right moment to make your first serious purchases. When you're ready, head to the local market where you can buy agricultural machinery. Make sure to refuel your vehicles at the gas stations, park next to gas pumps and press... I, business application. I've installed a new shop application on your tablet. It will give you access to the banking tool mentioned earlier and will help you manage your bank loans. Thanks to additional tools in this application, you'll be able to buy or sell agricultural produce, check the current stock market prices, or order fuel for your machinery. Remember that using this service will be 20 to 50% more expensive than doing the work yourself. Oh dear. Right, stock market prices. I'm guessing it's not the actual stock market. I'm guessing that is the animals. Um... There is a significant difference between the two. Oh. Okay, I was wrong. I was completely wrong. It is the actual stock market. That's brilliant. Okay, so um, it does. It just gives us a list of um, prices going at the moment. Uh, 410, 435, 700. Canola's good. Olives, canola, coffee. Cool. Olives, grapes, milk, peppers. Oh, peppers are very good. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are good as well. I think tomatoes are um, grown in greenhouses. There is a lot of different stuff. Wasabi. 2,400. Wow. We want to. We, we, well, I think we're going to move to uh, eggplants as well. I think we might move to Japan and grow some wasabi. Uh, chilies. Eggs. 
That's it. That's it. We've run out. Um, we can buy gas, selling animals, chickens, pigs, rabbits, cows. I love the fact we got rabbits in there. A lot. There are sheep as well on the German map. Don't forget those. Buying agricultural materials. Wheat, rye, potatoes, fertilizers, selling. So much stuff. There is so much stuff on here. This is fantastic. Um, right. Let's ignore all of that. We'll come out, we'll come out of this one. So we want to go to the... It's 1,400 over that way. Right. Let's go around here. And... We're going to take our rather slow and steady Zeta all the way over to the store. Do I have a vehicle? Can And also, can I tab between vehicles? I'm not quite sure on that one. Let me just put the... Um... Put the, the cruise control running. So we got cruise control. Um, can I... Yeah. Do, do, do we tab between vehicles? That's one thing I'm not sure of. Because what I'd like is to be able to have a farm tr uh, pickup or something like that. If we got a farm pickup, I could uh, probably get to the next destinations a little bit quicker. I need to get back to the farm. And, and see what I mean by the lighting. It doesn't seem to be options to change the lighting. I know it's like early in the morning, but it does seem... The lighting seems rather subdued. It's it's like it's late in the it's late in the day or something. Um, it doesn't it it doesn't feel quite right. It, I I do think that there's a little bit of room for improvement on this one. I think part of the reason for the odd little lag spikes that we get is just it's loading in new areas of the map as we drive along, and so as if I'm driving along and I'm panning around at the same time, it's having to load in a new area of the map and load a new graphic as well, which is what is causing us a little bit of a problem. Um, I'm going to go along here. Now, it says detach rear device. Can I do that while I'm driving? I can. Uh, and it seemed to do it all right. It wasn't brilliantly there. See, right there, I had quite a lag spike just as it was loading up the stuff about the field. Um, there, there was that. Do we have anything that will gather up the straw and sell it? It's one thing I don't know about at the moment. I haven't seen anything for gathering up straw. We'll keep going. Well, we, we've, we've got to go over to the store over here. We're going to be getting a Akpil Chawast XL Sad Sprayer. Why is the sprayer sad? Why couldn't they have made a happy sprayer? It is forever going to be one of the great mysteries of this game is why they couldn't make a happy sprayer. Why have we got to have a sad sprayer? I mean, it's probably based on a real life one. So real life people, Akpil Chuas, whoever you are, why have you made your sprayer sad? I'm sure that sad actually stands for something other than seasonal affectation disorder. Um, I, I think that's uh, it's seasonal something. I, I'm pretty sure it's seasonal affectation. I think it is. I could be wrong on that one. I could have gotten completely the wrong words. Uh, but yeah, sad is, is a seasonal something. Um, disorder where basically you feel miserable in winter because it's winter. Um, it's, it's just one. Of, it's, it's just a, a. It's a recognised thing now. Right. So we've driven to the store. There we go. Right. Buy the water trailer. How do I do that? Leave vehicle. Enter vehicle. I need to go over here. There is the person right there. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. He looks a bit sour, doesn't he? Buy machine. Ah, right. So we've got tractors here. I've got a Zeta. I've got a Landini Trekker. Fuel consumption. Litres per hour, 20. This one is 24 litres per hour. 98 horsepower on that one. Every time I see... Oh, this is the problem. I spend so much time playing games. Every time I see HP, I'm, I'm not immediately thinking 98 horsepower. Right? I'm thinking... Power and hit points. 75. Right, right, so the Zeta has got 75 hit points. And the Landini Trekker has got 98 hit points. So it's it's got, a, you know, more survivability. <laughs> it's probably... No, it's not really the way we should be looking at tractors. It, they don't have hit points. Come on, Frith, focus. Um, so, yeah, so the Zeta Proxima down here has got 117 hit points. <laughs> and the Zeta Crystal, 163 hit points and so on and so forth. Let's carry on down. What have we got? We've got a Landini down there, 212. Anna McCormick. Uh, JCB's Fast Tracks down there, 348 hit points. That is pretty good. Um, that's pretty good, whether it's hit points or it's horsepowers. That one there, the McCormick there, that's got to be a little garden tractor. It's got to be. I'm sure of it. Uh, required level 1. It is 48 horsepowers. Fuel consumption, 4.3 litres an hour. That is not a very 
thirsty machine, really. And then you got this great big caterpillar track, Agrimash Ruslan, over there. And we got combines. This is one that we've got, the Gomsulmash Palis. I was told this is nothing to do with Rosselmash. It's a different company altogether. So I was wrong last week when I suggested that it might be. I thought it, I didn't know. Um, and But it's not. Uh, Gomsul Mash is something else altogether. So we've got a couple of different combines there. We've got a great big uh, forage harvester. And that looks like a rice harvester. They're normally tracked ones. Yes, I think that is a rice harvester. The Redlands Champion. Um, I keep clicking on that bit. That's not the bit. That's the. I think that's actually the camera for the, the tablet that we're supposed to be on. That there, the Gregoire G9. What is that? Is that a grape harvester? I don't know. I think one of those is a grape harvester and one of them is an olive harvester. I think that's olives and that's grapes. Because of the way... Look, you look at that one. That one looks to be higher. So I would say that one is the olives and the lower one is the grapes. This is my guess. Uh, that's a trailed one. That's, I think that's a grape harvester. Yeah, I think the Gregoire are grape harvesters and I think that is olives there. The olive harvester is a lot cheaper. You can be more rough. As far as I know, you can... It's um, Grape harvesters have got to be a lot more gentle taking the grapes away than the, what the uh, the olive harvesters have got to be. The olive harvesters do work slightly different. Anyway, so we've looked through those. Uh, Akpil up here. We've got various different ones. We've got a couple of big... That is a great big plow there. Look at that. 12 furrow reversible plow. That is fantastic. Um, and then we've got a few different cultivators. That there... Redlands Champion. I don't even know what that is. Is that... I think it's a cultivator of some sort. I genuinely have no idea. Uh, that's, some of these are very strange. Some of them... That, that's a potato harvester. I think that's a potato harvester. Um, that's a potato planter. And we've got a Sipna... Sipma. Um, muck spreader. Seed drills. Sprayer there. Akpil, Chuas. XL... Is that the one that I'm supposed to be buying? Akpil Chwast XL Sad Sprayer. I don't I don't know why it's sad. That one doesn't seem to be sad. That one just seems to be fairly normal. And I'm looking but I'm looking through the others and I don't see any more sprayers available. That's uh, that's cultivations. And then we got trailers here. We've got some metal tech trailers of different sizes. I got a great big Sipna uh Sipma um that one right there, that is a, it's just a forage wagon. But it's, no, it's not, it's a, a silage trailer rather than a forage wagon. Uh, that is the one that we're supposed to be buying right now. The Sipma WA600 Delphin Tank Trailer. Let's just see what else we got. We got Transport Tech, ooh, shiny. We got Mitsubishis, we got the DAF truck up there. We got a bigger one. And, yep, they look really good. Others, what do we got? There's a, a feed feed wagon. There is an actual forage wagon, which we could do with at some point. We've got a, a stationary bale wrapper. That one, you've got to pick up the bale and put it onto it by the look of it. It doesn't look like it's got a... It doesn't pick it up in the field. We've got a mower, a round baler, rake. That is a wrapper that picks them up in the, in the field. Does that one pick up in the field? Oh, no, that's a bale collector, that one is. And I don't know what that is. Akpil, oh, Akpil Chuast XL Sad. Why is it sad? I don't get it. I don't. I don't even know what it is. I have absolutely no idea what that is. And then we got loaders and weights over here. We have got a few different loaders and different loader attachments. What's that? Oh, rear loader. Uh, I don't really know what you do with that. Okay, let's go back to... It wasn't... Yes, it was in trailers. It was that one right there. We're supposed to be buying this one. So how do we buy? Uh, we, we click on buy. There we go. Look at that. Who'd, who'd have thought it? So we buy that one. And now I need to buy the Chwast XL Sad. That one there. Is that is that the sprayer? I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming it is because it says sad. Why are you sad? What is wrong? You can talk. Come and talk to us about it. We don't mind. Right, we bought all of those. You gained 100 XP. You've received two new emails. Let's go and take a look at the emails a minute. Right, purchasing of machinery. You have reached the place where you can buy agricultural machinery. Approach the sales executive. Press B. Uh, press Enter. Go ahead and make your first investment. You'll find it in the other. Right, okay. So we, we've. Um, that's fine. Shopping app. Installed new shopping app. It should be available right away. From now on, you can make your purchases remotely from any location. Order new machinery be delivered to any shed you own. 
Online shopping incurs a 20% price increase, however, you will save quite a lot of time in doing so. Appl applicability of machinery. Now you have your two new devices, you are able to do more work. This will certainly come in handy during the campaign. The more equipment you own, the more tasks you can complete. They are particularly useful for taking on additional tasks offered by fellow farmers who may be in need of help. Be sensible to haul your new machines to your own farm. This way you'll always know where they're at. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Let's move on to a very important matter. I've done a quick sweep of the surrounding farms, and I must say that your grandfather wasn't the only one coping with crisis-related problems. Huh? Wasn't the only one coping with crisis-related problems. Most of the neighbouring farms need help. What's more, they're willing to pay extra for any completed tasks. They're hard-pressed to save their livelihoods, and that's understandable given a shortage of manpower. Right, so it looks like we've got some serious problems going on around here. I'll take care of looking for any new farmers who may need a helping hand. If I happen to find any such folks, I'll send you a message and their locations will be marked on your navigation system. Who is this person? I don't actually remember who this person is that keeps sending me all these messages. Um, no. From Chris Supervisor. Right, I'm assuming... Uh, yeah, Chris the Supervisor. Right, uh, so we need to take care of looking for any farmers who may need a hand. So he's going to look for some farmers who may need a hand. We're going to just take a look at the map a minute. And we will zoom out. Right, so we're right up in the top of the map. Right click to move around and then we can do that. So we own field four. Do we? I don't actually know if we own field four. Uh, uh, we, we own field three. As for owning field four, I'm not quite sure. Looking at that one. There, field four, value 7,000. This one right here. Ah, your property. Right, so we only own field three. It's the green one. Uh, but we don't own field four over there. That one is irrigation, 80%. Everything else is nothings. All right, let's, let's come out of there. We're, we're not interested in any more of it. Let's go and look at our new machinery. Right, what is this thing? I don't know why it's sad. It bugs me. What is this? I have never seen a machine like this before in my life. I don't know what it is. Um, but it's got... Is it, a slurry st is it a slurry spreader of some kind? Well, it's got... No, it's got a toxic symbol on it. Maybe it does sprays, but... It's got a huge, great big fan on the back. Are you telling me that it just throws the chemical into a, into a fan and just kind of disperses it? That's... that That's savage, man. That is... That is actually savage if it does do that i'm gonna i'm gonna be a bit disappointed if it doesn't it might just be water though that might it may be is a water player that could be a, a, a water a player a water player a water spreader is it an irrigation tool right attach the device oh it's gonna say is it really stick all that far out no it doesn't we have detached we have attached the device so let's go and take this. We want to take this one back to our farm. We've got that device over there as well. I'm not quite. We'll, we'll, we'll probably leave that one there for a minute. Um, let us head off. And right, if I yeah, see this is the thing I don't like about the um, the cruise control. You can't just set cruise control to maximum and be done with. Oh, hang on, I got to find that farmer over there. Let's go this way. I don't go across the grass. That's fine. I, I don't mind. We can cope with that. So let me go to here. What does he want us to do? Oop, where are we? There we go. Let's go run over to here. What do you need? Don't be rude or I will go elsewhere. You gained 50 XP. Can you do something for me? It's very, very quiet, his voice. Hello, friend. I need help in my orchard. If you're willing to lend me a hand, I promise to pay you well. Unfortunately, the employee from a different state who was supposed to help the farm is not answering the telephone or responding to emails. I assume he gave up. His loss, what do you say? Would you help me out? Attach the Sipma WA600 Delphin water trailer, a uh, tank trailer, water. Fill the tank trailer. Fill the orchard's tank. Connect the sprayer. Fill the sprayer with pesticide. Go to the edge of the orchard. Spray the orchard. It seems awfully complicated, but we'll give it a go. Get to it. What do you mean, get to it? He just said get to it. Seriously? I would pick up those boots and slap you with them. Keep being rude to me like that. Now then, uh, so we need to go. We need to go and get that other trailer. So this is a this is an orchard sprayer. I guess that kind of makes sense. As you drive along, it that goes into the the spray there, and as you go along, the, the fan disperses it, and it sort of sends it in all directions. So it goes up in the air, 
rather than just because you're a normal spray you're directing the spray down the nozzles are all pointing downwards whereas if it's an orchard sprayer it's, it's altogether different never i've never had anything to do with maintaining orchards the only orchard i've ever seen is one that my dad owns and you know that's basically just a few trees in his garden that we go and um pick each year and that's that's all we do if there are insects on them then we just kind of brush them off and that's about it that's literally the only thing that we do to it there is nothing else that we do to it um so yeah actual production of uh, uh, managing any kind of orchard is, is something i've never ever been involved with in any way shape or form so let's just back up a bit we'll try and get a bit close to this one oops tad too close that time but still it's fine so we want to carry on and we don't yeah the, i do not like it is official i do not like the way that the uh what do you call works on this map uh, not on this map on this game cruise control i don't like the way cruise control works on this game Ah, Apple Orchard. Look, if I go over here, water level zero, spraying zero, water storage zero. I've got to fill the tank trailer all the way over there. I thought that I could just come through here, but apparently I can't. So let's, we, we, we're going cross country now. Does that tree, if, if does the little tree have, yeah. Once again, trees are proven to be the strongest force known to mankind in any game. They, they always are. It doesn't matter how big or small, unless you're playing um, spin tires. Spin tires, they, they, the trees will actually, you know, get brushed out of the way. But for the rest of us, even the smallest leaf will jam up your vehicle unlike anything else you've ever seen in your life. I probably should have stuck to the roads, really. Um, but we, we've gotten through. We have gotten through, and that's the important bit. So we, we won't ask too many questions. We won't say too much. And I'm pretty sure I've just seen something there. Now, there, it, it was uh, sapphires. Is that a sapphire? Is it? I found one! You've received a new email. Right. Um, I need to press V to see my emails. There we go. We go to there. Minus, right. Changing vehicles, uh, undertaking side tasks. Great. You found a farmer. Unlock the first side task. From now on, in addition to main tasks, you have access to side tasks marked on the minimap. These are rewarded with better than main tasks. It's a good idea to keep that in mind. Uh, some tasks... Allow you to familiarize yourself with new crops and livestock. Unfortunately, there's a downside. If you accept the certain side task, you'll be in a race against time. Fail to complete a task in the assigned time frame, this task will automatically be completed, albeit without any payment. You won't be paid if you decide you abandon the task either. Okay, so we have to be careful about that. Right, changing vehicles uh, dynamically. A new function has been activated. From now on, there we go. Tab, open function, QE, change vehicle character, get category, W, S, A, D, choose a vehicle from the cap. Right, so tab we can change vehicles brilliant that's what we want pumping water first you have to get water from one of the pumping stations and then deliver it to the orchard's tank i've marked the nearest pumping station on your map all you have to do is stop in the indicated area start pumping water right into the trailer uh pump water yep okay the slight miners treasure all over montana you can find treasures left behind by miners decades ago Though people have already forgotten about them, they're really valuable. We're, tell we're talking gemstones, sapphires, hidden in small lumps of rock. Collect all the sapphires and exchange them for 200,000 euros. Quite sure why we're using euros in Montana, but there we go. Um, wasn't there a way to change that somewhere? It may maybe it was uh, not in there. We go to options, gameplay, and turn off unit system metric. There appears to be no way to change it. There appears to be no way to change that one at the moment. Right, so we have our first sapphire, and we are using euros in Montana, which, yes, it does seem a little bit odd, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about it. I'm still waiting for cruise control speed alterations. That's, what, that's all I ask for. I don't ask much in life. Just, you know, seven square meals a day and cruise control alterations. Okay, maybe not seven. Six. I, I can get by with six. <laughs> I'm going to have people who think I'm being serious right now, aren't I? I'm not being serious. That is, is my attempt at humor. Um, what is that? Power station, I think. I'm assuming that's a power station of some kind. What we do with it, I'm not sure. Oh, I bet I know. That was solar panel frames in behind there, but there's no actual solar panels on them. I was wondering. Um, it does make sense now. You've got to go up there, and that's how you would buy the solar panels. We won't worry about that right now, though. So let me stop right there. There we go. Nailed it. Uh, ah, transfer. Load up with water. 
Fill the orchard's tank next. So we've got 6,000 litres of water. And now we can go on. And I can't just press the button for cruise control. You've got to build up speed. And then you can finally put the cruise control on. Which, if I mention that I'm not a great fan of the way this works at the moment. I'm hoping that it will change. I'm also not a great fan of the fact that we... Oh, there, I can see another crystal. I'm not a great fan of the way that uh, the moment is just on one time speed. I want to be able to speed things up. Let me jump out. You can't jump out while it's moving either. You've actually got to stop your vehicle and put the handbrake on before you can get out. What kind of nonsense is this? Everybody jumps out of their vehicle while it's still running along, don't they? And then you just go along and you catch up to it afterwards. I'm sure that's how it works. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not quite, but... Um, it could be, it could certainly make life more interesting if that's how you could do it. Apparently there are bears around. So be careful. There's a big sign there that said bears. There's another crystal over there. These crystals are not very well hidden. Although the map is not that big so that we, it, it would kind of make sense that they're not going to be tremendously well hidden. Now we've got to come up here, we've got to stop. There we go, once you stop and your handbrake is on, then you can run out and you can get crystals. So we're going to get another one. There we go. 97 to go. Another 97 crystals, and we get ourselves $200,000. Or euros, or whatever currency they're currently using here in Montana. There's another one over there. And the prop one issue I do have with this game, a very... Oops, no, I want to be out. A very serious issue. This is an issue that I, I, I really do have a major problem with. We can't jump. Look, I'm pressing space bar, and I'm not jumping. Which means that I, as a farmer, cannot vault over my own fences. This is ridiculous. How many farmers do you know cannot climb over their own fences? I don't know a farmer that can't get over his own fence. You mean using it? Farmers don't use gates. Well, you do if you're using a tractor, but you know, other than that, um, it's very rare that a farmer will actually use a gate. They, they, they just, you know, they just jump over the fence, like finely tuned athletes going to the Olympics and doing the pole vault. It's quite impressive, especially when they get all fancy about it and sort of flip themselves over the gates. I've never been able to do that. I tried it once and I ended up landing on my bonnet and it hurt. Um, so I didn't try it again. But I do know plenty of farmers that do do it. And it's, it is, you know, it, it is fairly impressive. Um, you always think that they're going to hurt themselves though. Um, I think maybe I'm just secretly hoping that they do hurt themselves because I always hurt myself when I do it. Um, that's not a very nice way to do it though, is it? That's, that's not a very nice view of life. <laughs> right, we've got 6,000 in there. Now I need to go and get the sprayer. I got my water tanker here. If I leave, if I leave it here, I'm going to want this one again, aren't I? I'm going to leave the, the water tanker over here. Now you can, although you can't get out of your tractor, you can. Oh no, no, I pressed the wrong button. Then let me go back a bit. We can try this again. Right, when you can, as you're going along, we, we can do that. So we we can at least do that, even if we can't jump out of our tractor as we drive along. Now, we're going to go and get this sprayer. Now, this is one that I've never used before. I've never used a sprayer like this before. I've never sprayed an orchard before. I've never done anything to an orchard before. This is all new stuff. This is all brand new to me. Uh, right, that way around. So we'll back up there. We get this one on. And as soon as we've done this, we'll be able to start the spraying. There we go. Oop, no. I'm, I'm trying to press Q, which is not, not the one that we want to press. I want to do that one there. Right, uh, fill the sprayer with... Pe where's the pesticides? What? i got to go all the way over there. Okay, let's go and get the pesticides. There's a, a whole hundred meters all the way over here. This is ridiculous. The amount of distance we're having to travel in order to keep this bloke happy. I didn't realize there was going to be so much stuff in the small print. I mean, he's giving us ten grand. Ten grand at the end of it all is, is probably not too bad. So let me bring that one up over there and stop. There. Eight hundred euros for the pesticides. Fill that one right up. Ideal. 2,000. And go to the edge of the orchard. And then we've got to spray the orchard. That's the easy. That's going to be the fun bit. Is we're going to finally see the orchard sprayer hard at work. This is something I've never, ever seen before. All brand new. Never seen it. Never even... I, didn't, I had no idea. It's just such a giant, great big fan on the back. It seems very strange. Right. I'm going to go to... That point about there, right, uh, spray, F. Ha <laughs> ha! It's exactly what it says on the tin, except that, you know, it's going out nozzles on the sides. Which is a little bit different to how I thought it was. You look there, you can see there. there's nozzles on the side of the machine that is, is it? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I see, right, so the, the, the water is released, 
and the fan is blowing backwards to force it out, which is then pushing it up into the leaves, and so we've got lots and lots of um, pesticides and sprays or whatever it is that we're spraying onto the crop at the moment. Um, I'm not a big fan of spraying in real life. I'm really not. Um, I, I, I prefer to, to limit it as much as is possible. Um, that is just me. Right, I've received a new mail. I probably should turn this one off when I'm going around the corners. Let's try stopping spraying a minute. Now, if I go... Do I need to do both sides of the trees? I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I think you, I think you do need to do both sides of the sprees, of the sprees of the trees, trees, t, t, not sp. Um, I think we do actually. We're supposed to do both sides of the trees. You get the underside of both sides of the trees. Um, I'm, the reason I'm doing that is because we got that bar at the top there, which is slowly filling up the green. I think by the time we uh, get all the way around this field, we'll have filled that bar up without having to worry about it. Why is it slowed down again? If I don't use cruise control, I can do about 12k on this. And then if I put cruise control going, it slows down again. This is not good. I don't like it. Uh, stop spraying is F. So then we can come around here and I'll start spraying again. Like that. 65% spraying done now. We go all the way up through. Is it do... I mean... The way that other games work, you would you don't actually need to do like both sides of a thing because it's just that's the way that it sort of works out. So you could just do it with a line up through. Um, Seventy-five percent water storage is sixty percent, but is that going to actually count as done? I think it does because we we did one. I, uh, we may have to go and get another trailer load. I'm not quite sure, but we're on eighty percent of the orchard done. Two percent. And I come around this way. See, I am getting a bit of lag here in places. And then we go up through. Hopefully, this last little bit, 85 there. Once we get down to the other end, it will say 100% complete. There was one line that we didn't do. And that may be what it's uh, asking for. The orchard itself, yeah, see, this is saying that it's done. But the orchard itself is still not saying that it's completely sprayed. Task help in the orchard completed. And we've already been paid. We don't even need to go back and see the bloke. He's already happy that we're finished. 95. Uh, press F here. 96. 97. I go along the top end here, I think. And I get that orchard sprayed. Why isn't it? Why isn't it saying completed? Still 98%. We've already done this bit. That's why. I come down this side, maybe. I want to get it to 100%. It's that bit in the middle that we didn't do. All right, let's, let's stop now. We, we, we won't worry about it. Uh, proceed to the indicated location attached to plow and go to the edge of the field. It's another task. Now, I've we got two new emails. Where is this indicated position? We can press the map a minute. Um, we'll zoom out a little bit. Oh, all the way down here. But that is another task that we don't... That's not us. I want to be able to gather up... We've got straw lying on the ground up there. That's what I want to be able to do. Right, if I do that, I want to press V and go into there. And let's look at our emails. Uh, spraying the orchard. Oh, no, I, I got loads of them. Filling the orchard's tanks. Time to deliver the orchard's water. Yeah, we did that. Uh, next thing you want to do is spray the tree. Spraying is essential to protect the fruit from pests and get the best yields possible. Pesticides. You fill up uh, pesticide not free, so be prepared for some expenses. And then spray the orchard. If you run out of pesticide, you can always move between the rows of trees to spray them thoroughly. You took care of the farmer's task. You received 10,000 euros payment and 200 experience points. As you probably noticed, you were able to start working on the task without delay because you already had all the necessary equipment. Remember to think things through and plan every expense. It's best to find out what equipment is required to complete a task and then go shopping, darling. Go shopping. Right, uh, come out of there. And I'm going to keep the sprayer on a minute. And we're going to go racing back towards the farm. I need to attack... Oh, the plow is there by the look of it. We'll take the sprayer back to the farm. And then we can... We'll always come back and get the water tanker a bit later on. We know where it is. We know we've left it. And there's the lag that is... I'm blaming the lag for driving into the shed there. For demolishing the poor bloke's shed. Sort of driving off with the roof still attached to me. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm blaming all of that on lag. It was nothing to do with me. It wasn't Frithgar's bad driving. It was all lag. It was. And we will say no more about it. Nothing. Don't need to mention it. Nope. Yep. You at the back. Quiet, please. Right. Thank you. Um, 
we get back to the yard. It's about all we got time for today. So if we stop here at the yard and we get this one just unhitched somewhere. That trailer over there is a bit more difficult to park away in a shed. But this sprayer, I can put this one, I can back this one into a shed, neat and tidy. It's all out the way. We don't have to worry about it. And then we need to go over there. So we will do that in our next episode. That'll be next week. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am going to back this one into the shed. I will keep playing this one using nothing more than the keyboard and mouse. I won't start using a steering wheel just yet. Uh, for reasons that I've already outlined. That I think it would be better. Um, just for now, I sort of demonstrate that this game is easy. It's, it's fun and it's able to be enjoyed by everybody. Even if you don't have all the extra bits and pieces as well. All the extra paraphernalia. Because we know that steering wheels do cost quite a bit of money. And not everybody has got the spare 100, 200 pounds, whatever it is to or you know, dollars, whatever your local currency is, to go and buy um, said items. So, yeah, I will keep doing it with the absolute basics so that you just to sort of show that we can do everything in the game without having to um, have expensive extras. But that's all i got time for. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.